Hello and welcome guys uh, to the inaugural episode of Six Corner. I am Six Shock Six, organizer here with Tavern Gaming, and I am joined here by Rune, and we're going to discuss our history with the Street Fighter franchise. Hello and welcome, Rune. Hello, Sick. Thanks for uh, thanks for having me. Yes, uh, I'm I'm Rune, also with uh, the Tavern. Thanks for for having me on on your show today to talk about Street Fighter. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Oh yeah, of course. Well, definitely. Thank you for taking the time to join us here. So, just to get started off, um, Rune, how did you get into Street Fighter? Uh, with Street Fighter, well, this was uh, a long time ago in a in a in a galaxy far, far away. It's called the <laughs> '90s, uh, the early 90s. to mid '90s. So, um, um, like a lot of the games that I that I had during the time, it was hand-me-downs, you know, from relatives or from siblings. So mm -hmm. it was around the mid uh, '90s. I got my first uh, Sega Genesis. Um, it came with a couple games. It came with uh, Sonic, of course, uh, a random sports game, um, eSWAT, and Street Fighter 2 Championship Edition. Or Championship. Nice! And that was my first uh, experience uh, with, uh, with Street Fighter. That's how I, I got into it, or was first introduced to it. Mm. Now, for me, I would have to say it was the late 90s as well. Um, there was in the town where I grew up in New York, uh, just, just a little bit above the town, actually, there was a roller rink, which was also an arcade. Um, and that roller rink slash arcade had Street Fighter 2, uh, championship champions edition as well, too. Um, and I remember just going to the arcade portion of the roller rink and spending my quarters in there because mm -hmm. I was I was deathly afraid of getting on the uh, oh. roller rink. <laughs> so oh, I, I, I used the, the excuse rink. of... Play my games. <laughs> well, because I was afraid of falling and getting hurt when I was younger, so um, I used the excuse of, oh, no, I'm just going to I'm just gonna play uh, in the arcade section. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. That's that good, good. So... Um, but yeah, and I would always pick uh, pick Ryu as my as my character. So, out of all the Street Fighter games that you played, sick, which one was uh, which one was your favorite, and why? Well, I would have to say Street Fighter Four, because uh, honestly, Street Fighter Four was the most Street Fighter uh, the most time that I had with playing Street Fighter. Um, and I really fell in love with the characters, um, the stages, and my my favorite evil Ryu was was my favorite character that I always play online with. So I definitely have to say Ultra Street Fighter Four. He's even even as a little kid, you pick the evil characters. I see a trend here. The sun's going <laughs> on. Start out very young. Street Fighter is to blame for your evilness in games today. That's all I got. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I, I am. I am. But I, I, I am, I am evil. <laughs> I'm so sick. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right, all right. Um, for uh, for myself, which uh, uh, game that I like the most, or Street Fighter I like the most, I would have to say, I don't know. I'm, I can't pick just one. I can't pick just one. There's there are a lot can't. of characters that oh, I have. You know? mm -hmm. I can't pick one. I can't just pick one. So, of course, props has to go to the Champion ed Edition. You know, the first one, you always got to go the one that got you started. Always right. like that one. Um, Street Fighter 2 Turbo, I really liked. Um, and Street Fighter Alpha 3. Um, then, plus, may not be a main Street Fighter game, but it's like one of those crossover ones. I don't know if you remember X-Men vs. Street Fighter. I do. That one I really liked. That one, that one was pretty dang cool. So... Uh, among those, those among the, all the Street Fighter games that came out, though that little group are my are my favorites. Well, you say you can't pick a street, favorite Street Fighter game, but what are, what about a favorite stage? Could you tell me what your favorite stage in Street Fighter is? My favorite stage, uh, well, I can't uh, I can't look no further other than Guile stage. Uh -huh. Street Fighter <laughs> That is my all-time favorite, all-time all favorite stage from uh, Street Fighter Two Guile stage. Um, I, I always like the, the they had the aircraft uh, 
uh, the aircraft in the background, they're on the airfield, and the music, Gao's music. Oh, That's yeah. like a, America's national anthem. You know, if we were to replace it, that would be the one. I just always like the music and always get me pumped up whenever we play in those in that stage. I just get I just get pumped up. And I think it's really fun. The music's cool and I like the, the the environment. So that one I've always gravitated most to. Which stage is your favorite then? For me, I would say Street Fighter 2's The Bathhouse is my favorite because in between matches, if you look on the back wall, you'll see the uh, figure, you know, move and like press this like what looks to appear to be like a candy bar or sorts, just like throw it up in your face every now and then. And along to his left, you'll see that there's a volcano that starts to erupt, and I, and I think that's just really funny, kind of game breaking, if I would say, immersion breaking. I mean, yeah, the volcano is interrupting in the background and slowly but surely making your way to the stage. But don't worry about it. We're fighting over here. The lava could wait. The volcano could wait. <laughs> what lava? Love don't kill me. Uh, so, since we're talking about uh, favorite uh, stages, well, what's your what's your, uh, who's your who's your favorite fighter or fighters to play as? Well, so oh, I have three favorite fighters in uh, Street Fighter, and I can't pick between as you, as you can't pick your favorite stage. I can't pick my favorite mm, amongst okay. the three of them. But those three right. are. Uh, Ryu, Ken, and Akuma. Uh, I love I love Ryu because yeah, of the, the uh, <laughs> <hold the trinity. laughs> I love Ryu because of the ability to when you use his super he puts out a bigger Hadouken. Um, mm -hmm. and uh, and just the way he looks too, he looks like just like some kind of karate badass, and I just really love the way he looks. Uh, with Ken, uh. I love the fact that uh, I'm able to play with him in a technical standard, and the way that he strings his kicks together, uh, especially when you do the um, spinny kick, it hits your opponent three times, and you're able to combo into another move if you're able to hit all three. Um, so when I'm playing Street Fighter competitively, uh, Ken is my favorite, and for Akuma, I love Akuma because he's the evil dude. I love the evil dude. Uh, he's like the Darth Vader of Street Fighter, and, and you can't go wrong. Love him, the bad guy, and the way he looks, the way you know, in all the in all the games, and he just looks like the scary mother trucker. You don't want to mess with him. All right, that's that's really funny that you said that because I am the exact same way with my favorite fighter, my favorite character in Street Fighter. My favorite character in Street Fighter is M Bison. My all-time favorite out of all the games. Okay, he's the one I always play as, the, the one I go to. Um, very similar reasons why I like him. Not because, oh, he has good combos. Because I don't know any combos. I'll just tell uh, spoiler alert, I don't know no combos. Oh, God. Okay? But, but uh, <laughs> not for any skill set or because he's good or it's the meta. I, I liked him because he was the main bad guy. He was the big bad villain. He looked cool. I, I liked his uh, outfits. I just liked his how his character looked. Always gravitated towards towards him. I, it's also a thing with with me in fighting games as well. I always tend to gravitate more towards the villain in fighting games. So Tekken, uh, it's Heihachi, uh, Kazuya, Street Fighter, and Bison. Um, I just remember as a kid hounding my parents for uh, for the M Bison action figures. I needed to have all the oh, M Bison action figures. <laughs> I would, I would draw pictures of him in my notebook. Uh, I would just like I would just he was he was my favorite, my all-time favorite as a kid and as and as time went on. So that's my guy. You know, very and, similar and, in the villain thing. And now that you put that out, I realize now how dirty you can be when you play as him because you do a lot of baseball slides in Street oh, Fighter well, yeah, Two. That's the, only, that's the only thing I know. That's 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 his that's his crippling <laughs> move. Because oh, you get him, there's also you when when you hit his baseball slide, it kind of like knocks over the uh, kind of knocks over the the other character, so it gives me a moment to uh, you know get a, get a little punch in there, you know. Oh, dirty so tactics! Is, dirty tactics! It's dirty, it's dirty tactics! Spam tactics! I have to do what I have to do to win <laughs> against people like you. I have to do what I gotta do. Baseball slides. 
If, if that has to, has to be done, I'll do it. Oh my gosh. Well, speaking of, you know, disliking things, um, <laughs> yeah. what would you say is your most disliked Street Fighter game and why? I, I I don't think I really have one. I don't, I don't think I've ever what? played a oh, Street Fighter <laughs> where I didn't like it. I don't know. I'm a very um, a, a very casual fan and player of Street Fighter. You know, I really don't. Um, I'm not that invested in the the meta or combos or the the moves. I just you know I mm -hmm. just play to to have fun with uh, friends or family or. Right. Find myself doing the story mode or the the mm -hmm. any other modes that are featured. I don't think I've ever had a bad experience with a Street Fighter game that I've played. I, I don't have one. I can't say that. That's... I don't dislike any Street Fighter <laughs> games. <laughs> That's interesting. Um, I would go on the opposite, um, and I would have to say Street Fighter number one. Because it is the oh geez, that's that's such a cop out though. That's such a cop out because Street <laughs> Fighter One is so different from all the other ones. That's not I fair. know, but you're beating up on it. That's but but it is so deviated away from what we normally know as Street Fighter, and when you you know you pick it up and play it, it just feels very. Uh, you feel like a tank in the game. You know, hits take a bunch of damage um, against you and. When you play against the computer, computer cheats, um, and I just, yeah. I just, I, I find myself just disliking the experience every time I play the game. And uh, you know, I always try and come back at it with a new, fresh set of thoughts, and I can't, I can't bring myself to like it. Um, and uh, understandable, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I see where you're coming from. I mean, I, I was thinking that in the back of my mind too. I just Street Fighter One like is just so different from everything else. I don't even like classify it as a as a fighting game in the the sense that we know mm -hmm. like it's on the 30th anniversary collection um that's probably the least played street fighter i have on that one um uh it's, it, it is very it's a very weird game it's a very weird game and it's crazy to think that's where that's where it technically all started it and is I'm curious yes. to know why they changed so much in the second one and you know it's just like especially with the first one uh when you play arcade mode you can only play as ryu and you know that's just so different from you know arcade modes of you know in the 90s with different arcade machines and you know even today's fighting games where you're not limited to one character unless you're obviously playing a story mode. but that didn't exist back then um you know you're stuck with playing ryu and you know, some people yeah. may not feel associated with that character. I, I know I do, but, um, you know, some people may not be as into it as just as playing as only Ryu. All right, well, we're talking about, you know, to tie it, to tie it together, we're leading to the, the next question. We're talking about, oh, and Bison, oh, uh, I'm a dirty player when I, when I do my baseball slides. And, <laughs> yes, you, uh, are. you, know, the, you are. The old arcade machines, you know, for the first Street Fighter, how different it was. Let's... Let me ask you, in your experiences playing Street Fighter uh, arcade mode, mm -hmm. okay, which character did you feel was the dirtiest, and why? <laughs> um, so I have two characters that are, you know, close to the top. It's between Seth, the guy. Uh, Seth from Street Fighter, because he's a pain in the butt. But my number one dirtiest fighter for arcade mode has to go to Zagat, because he'll just spam the the, the tiger uh, projectile that he spits at everybody, and it's just frustrating because he'll keep you at a distance and you can't get nowhere near this man. It is ridiculous, and you know I wish there was some way to nerf that, because there's oh, some way just, somehow some way <laughs> some way Capcom please because. Please, Capcom, if you're watching, just nerf this man. Nerf this man. Um, yeah, I just think that the projectile spam is just ridiculous. And you're either left just sitting there blocking, or you have to try and finagle getting closer in between um, projectiles. 
now um obviously probably there's a there's ways uh to get past it but i just feel that it's just so cheap and kind of ruins the experience a little bit but uh what <laughs> about yourself buy it, uh, cheat modes for myself <laughs> well cheat modes using cheats or giving your controller to a relative who knows how to beat the damn mission and let them be him for you so for for me how the the characters that I felt were the the dirtiest or the most cheap or the most annoying definitely has to be Vega from uh, Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Oh yeah. I felt uh, he just like uh, a jumping bean, a bunny hopper extreme. Before bunny hoppers were a thing <laughs> in Battlefield, he was the OG bunny hopper. Okay, jumping across <laughs> the stage, you know, going up on the cage, uh, jumping down at you. Very, I felt very cheap, very annoying. Even going back and replaying. The arcade mode in the 30th anniversary collection getting to that stage i think i was stuck on that stage for at least a month because a month? you know you, wow. you, could sa- you, could, <laughs> you could do save states on you know on the, on the 30th yeah. anniversary collection you could save and like i would go back and i just get my ass kicked over and over again i said screw it I, you know <laughs> i get my ass kicked and leave and come back and, and leave and get my ass kicked come back you know this vicious cycle finally i beat him i don't remember being that hard as a kid probably because i use cheat codes or i, I pass along to somebody else who could beat him but um, he was a, a pain in the ass. Uh, Kuma was also, if you got him, I think the only, if you only, um, you could be able to face a Kuma at the end of Street Fighter 2 if you didn't lose any rounds in the arcade mode. I recall <clears throat> doing that probably on easy mode. Well, let's be honest, I probably did on easy mode. <laughs> and finally got to a Kuma, and the game was like, oh, hell no, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna get by that quick. You didn't get it. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> and then he kicked butt, but Akuma is, I, I maybe wouldn't count. He's kind of like a secret boss, but he's part of the, the mainline folks, uh, Vega, uh, from my experiences. Well, speaking of arcade mode, Rune, ha- did you play <laughs> yeah. Street Fighter in the arcades itself? Uh, and the if so. The arcades? Yes, the arcades. Uh, distant relative of the 90s, long, long ago. Yes, yes. And if so, uh, what was your first time like, and uh, what was your cherished, your most cherished moment playing in the arcades with the game? Jeez, this is, this is a loaded question. This is a loaded question right here. Yes, I did play Street Fighter in the arcade as uh, as a kid. Not, not a whole ton. I, I do remember there being Street Fighter machines at the arcade um, at the local mall. That's where the arcade was in in my town. Um, mainly went with um, relatives, uh, sometimes with friends. Uh, it was a pretty uh, it, it was it was cool because you know you, you you're at home, you got the comfort of your own home, playing on the you know the Genesis or the Super Nintendo or whatever which ones, uh, or the PlayStation, whatever ones you had, and you go to the arcade, completely different uh, experience using the, the fight stick and all that. Um, oh, very yeah. Fun. Uh, the first time I... My first time was like... The, the memory's a little fuzzy. I don't know if it's repressed memory or not, <laughs> because I probably got my ass kicked, uh, uh, handed to me. I probably got my ass handed to me by people at the arcade. Um, my most uh, cherished, uh, cherished moment... Uh, I do remember there was um, a field trip back in the fourth or fifth grade, and uh, we stopped at the the mall for whatever reason. I think it was near the near where we were going. Um, <clears throat> this mall had an arcade. Uh, one of our teachers, uh, of course, under supervision, did we didn't, we didn't run off or anything. Um, he went there and. Took us down there and come to lo and behold the teacher or the chaperone was also a street fighter uh fan so we played a couple of rounds on there while uh, we were in this intermission and i just remember that being a lot of uh, a lot of fun and it opened up the open up the world to me adults play video games too i thought it was just a kid thing i thought it was just a kid thing so i just remember that being very very fun and uh, cool because one it was a field trip already getting out of school it's already a bonus and stopping at the stopping at the mall uh, for uh, lunch and then going off to the to the, to the arcade downstairs was really was really cool 
How about, uh, but how about yourself? Do you have similar experiences? Uh, I'm, I'm obviously, you play in the arcade. Uh, I'm, I hope. Uh, I do. your first time like and I favorite do. moment. <laughs> Whoo, go far back for my first time playing Street Fighter in the arcade. Uh, I remember just a little sick playing Street Fighter 2, putting his quarters in, you know, uh, not knowing what the hell to press and getting my ass kicked and getting the, seeing the continue screen um, with you uh, counting down. And I was like, forget this game. Uh, you know, I walked to just play forget the next game that was down the line. Um, I got my ass kicked on the first stage. Uh, for my most cherished moment, this was actually pretty recent. So, um, about last month, I went to one of those barcades and they had Street Fighter 3 Third Strike uh, at an, as an arcade cabinet. And off of one payment, which is like two tokens, um, I got to the final boss. Didn't beat the final boss, obviously. Um, because always those dirty tactics that final boss uses in these games. Um, yeah. Was able to get number one on the cabinet for top score. And... I was so happy. Uh, I wish I could just throw it out there to the world. That uh, yeah. with Ken, by the way, with Ken. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, just, just, just so everybody oh, knew geez, that Ken, I got number yeah. one on this can uh, on this cabinet. Yeah, before uh, before cell phones taking pictures. I'm sure if this was done today, it'll all be all of your Instagram, your MySpace, <laughs> on Discord. Look, I got a first place to leave, boy. My local arcade over here. Well, you that, know that, that that was a big thing. That was uh, about our arcade <laughs> culture during those leaderboards. Oh you know, yeah, that, those machines. You know, it's like you were you were number one for that week, and someone went next time. The next person that came in there, they say, "Who the who the hell is this sick this shock, is son of a mother sick. trucker? He's number one. That's it. I gotta beat him." So you know, well, the, like, uh, is that the thing is, cool? is like, the thing is like too. You can't officially put your name. You only have three letters, which that's the thing I don't understand about some arcade leaderboards is that you're only allowed three characters so um i can't even put sick entirely it'd be like just s i s i c or something s i c yeah <laughs> and uh but you know yeah exactly you know today's uh, today today's world i probably would have had to take a picture of it and upload it just so i could prove to people i did it which i should have taken a picture i should have taken a picture with but your I did, polaroids but hey, with my pole, my Kodak, my Kodak camera with the little. Oh, the Kodak, there you go. So, Rune, I'm going to start grinding your gears right now. Be honest. Be honest. Do you ever button mash in Street Fighter? And if not, describe how you trained yourself to learn the game's mechanics throughout the years. First of all, first of all, I need to have my lawyer here for me to answer this question. I'm not going to answer this question gosh. without my lawyer. This is a very. Very unfair question. Okay, <laughs> this is another loaded question. Have you ever button match? Of course I haven't. Of course I haven't. Yeah, oh, I, I don't know. I don't know. I've seen a lot of repetitive but, moves. In, in, all right, that's no, no, that's not. <laughs> I don't that's, know. That's not I don't know. know. Let's just say for the sake, if if I did, did did I button mash? If in an alternate reality, did I button mash? Yes. Um, wow. but, but for real, but for real. Um, no, I mean, no, no, I mean, what am I saying? All right, but, but for real, but for real. For real, no. But Okay, but really. Yeah, I do <laughs> button mash. I button mash in every fighting game. That's, uh, you know, I uh, I am not a fighting game extraordinaire, uh, professional, oh, average. No. I'm not even average at fighting games. I'm just... <laughs> oh, I just, I, I'm, I'm lucky. I'm in the category of lucky. That's what, that's what, uh, that's my category. That's my rank. <laughs> lucky. Uh, so yeah, I'll, I, well, of course I button mash. I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed of button mash. You heard it here first, folks. Um, he, he button mashes. Um, uh, we go. I'm, just, I'm just gonna edit this out anyway. You know what? <laughs> what? What? No, you can't I do button that. mash. What the frick? With concerns on how I uh, trained myself to learn the game again. <laughs> like, oh, I went to a dojo somewhere or something. I went to a gaming camp somewhere, summer camp, to learn how to play games. You know, it's, what do you think? What the hell do you think I am? I learned by getting my ass kicked. That's how I learned. I learned to get my ass kicked <laughs> by uh, better people or by, by colleagues, 
by, oh, by, any, by anyone under the sun. And I just, uh, <coughs> you know, sick. get my, get my butt kicked. <laughs> by, oh, sick. yeah, I don't even know who that guy is. Oh, uh, what? What? He's, what you... I don't know who he is. But yeah, I, I learned from, you know, one from from loss. But not, not for this, not for this on me. I didn't know this was an interrogation on me for Judge Reinhold <laughs> saying, do I button match? What about you? Do you button match? What? Um, do I but the great Shao Sick? Do I button mash? What kind of loaded malarkey question is that? Uh, right, well, enough, enough, honest, enough with to, the preamble. To, enough with to, the preamble. To, to be honest, just say yes and move on with this. To be stop wasting in, the people. In the be, in the beginning, I did. Yes, of course. Just like anybody who's is new to fighting games, they button mash. I have button mashed in the past, um, but over time, I. I did learn the mechanics of the game eventually. I'm not saying I, I'm not saying I'm nowhere as a pro or a, be an Evo or anything like that, but um, you know I usually like to take the time to go through training modes. Uh, you know, back when manuals were a thing and they would have the combo list and manuals. how to execute. <laughs> yeah. You're confusing the the audience here, sick. I don't know what you're talking about. Manuals. Oh gosh. So okay. Well, to give context, to... to give context for the youngins out there, there used to be a thing included in your game called a manual. You would open the box. The and manual. There would be a booklet. There was a person in there. A manual. <laughs> Who the hell did? A manual. A manual, not e manual. Oh. A. Oh, okay. Just making sure. I mean. <laughs> You know, the, the, we you, used to get games in big boxes back then. You know, there may be a little, uh, little guy in there. You know. <laughs> so you would used to open the box, and there would be a booklet in there, and would it, it would have uh, the characters' move sets and how to perform them on the controllers. So when I would used to go to, for example, you know, either buy the game or go to something like a blockbuster, which is another thing that I probably Whoa. would have to say. Oh my God! Y'all was in Captain Marvel. That was in Captain Marvel. <laughs> yeah, we oh, did. That was gosh. a Marvel movie. Oh my gosh. Anyway, it was a place where you used to go and rent games or movies. But that's not the point. So they would include the manuals. Um, and you would be able to read the inputs. And then when you go home, just try and practice them either in arcade mode, training. I would usually just practice in arcade mode because um, before... You know, we were able to manipulate training mode so that you could practice with a computer while in training mode. You know, it would just be like the guy just standing still, not doing anything. Just, yeah, just like, look, come at me, bro. And um, come at me. And um, it wasn't until, you know, the training mode started getting better, like, for example, Street Fighter 4, where, you know, you're able to have the computer do specific moves, do some guarding um and that's where i really like honed my street fighter skills is with street fighter 4 was because you know i took the time like after work was to just play that game read the inputs um learn the circle mechanics of the thumbstick and just just took a lot of time now that i think about it <laughs> um but you know for games like that i would say and, and that goes for any game you know if you really love a game you know, I would say definitely take the time to learn it, you know, master it, and, you know, make it your own. You know, it's, it's, it's a game that you like, and you want to put the time that you invest into it to pretty good uses. And that's what I did with Street Fighter. Um, and that's how, you know, and basically the movesets carry on through the games. So, uh, let's say, for example, um, Ryu's Super Hadouken is uh, half circle, half circle fold. Why? Um, that carries through the games and learning that from Street Fighter 4 and carrying it back and forth is really awesome and um, I know some games try to be innovated with each installment uh, I'm looking at Eat World Combat <laughs> um, you know it's nice to know that what I've learned uh, in these games doesn't get chucked out the window with the next game following up so Rude let me ask you what other Street Fighter media have you consumed besides the games? Besides the games? Yes. Primarily the, with other with other forms of content. It's <laughs> been the Street Fighter animated movie. 
mm -hmm. Street Fighter, Street Fighter Two specifically, I think it was Street Fighter Two right. animated movie or Street Fighter animated movie, whatever it was. It was an animated movie. That one um, I really liked. So the Street Fighter animated movie, and then the other Street Fighter movie, which is just called Street Fighter the movie. That's with John Claude Van Damme. I think that's what <laughs> most folks know, or what most folks remember. That one I really liked. Um, as a kid, and I still like now. I, I have the VHS, I have the DVD, and the Blu-ray. I think it's just a a fun movie, you know, recognizing uh, you know the M. Bison and uh, Jean Claude Van Damme and all those folks. I mean, I could um, let me see if I could find it uh, here in my Blu-ray case. <laughs> uh, here it is. Because one of the yeah, Raul Julia, Raul Julia. He mm -hmm. was uh, from the Adams family. I really liked him. He, I really thought he kicked ass as M. Bison. Of uh, course. <laughs> of course. Of course. So, uh, those those are the other two other forms of, of content the way I consume Street Fighter: the two movies, the animated movie, and then the live action movie. So those mm -hmm. are my two main uh, experiences with Street Fighter, in terms of other outside of video games. Right. What about yourself? I, um, I hope you've seen the movie. I hope you've seen the movie. So, so I'm gonna be honest. I have seen bits and pieces of the movie. I haven't sat through the Jesus. movie in its entirety. Although that's something I want to do. I just have the rite of passage. Have the time to do it. I do. Like I do get some of the you know memes that get spawned out of the movie. Like of course. Um, <laughs> Listen, well, uh, but here's a fun fact. I've 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 heard that uh, Jean Claude Van Damme was was coked out of his mind during the filming of that movie. Um, I, I yeah, heard that too. Completely second. Uh, I could probably be sued for for defamation, Same but I'm pretty sure I've I've seen other documentaries and other articles. But anyway, maybe that's how he did he did so well. <laughs> I just uh, that the whole scene where he's like, "Oh, you're out of your mind." Guy, no, no, General, you're, you've lost your balls, or something. Like that. I want those. I may, I may put oh, in the gosh. video. I may put the clip in the video. I don't know. But anyway. Um. So there was that. I've never seen the movie. Okay, so no. that's. So I've that's seen already bits and a pieces. Right there. Bits and pieces. Next was the Street Fighter Alpha anime, which I thought was really, really good in my opinion. But which is, unfortunately, and uh, we can all say it together, not canon. Anymore. Um, not can anymore. Well, not what can happened? Would somebody die in the movie? Die in there or something? Well, well you know, they, they spoiler kinda, alert. Spoiler alert. Spoiler discussion. Spoiler discussion. <laughs> so, it had to do with Rio, uh, uh, Ryu, uh, dealing with the his emotions and trying to keep them in check against the Satsuma no Hadu, which is the dark side, we'll say, for karate fighting. And which eventually like makes him evil and want to crave hurting people and violence uh, in his uh, style of karate. Uh, the movie kind of leads to the fact where he he like that he is Akuma's son, and I guess to try and erase that confusion, they kind of took it and threw it out the window. Which you know anybody who plays the game kind of can link the two together but i guess just to make us wait for like street fighter 6 or something when we finally get the answer they, they took it out and threw it out as canon uh so there was that there was a a street fighter uh a card game by jasco i played like one day at a friend's house and i, I can barely remember how the card game functioned um it's been that long and the last was one comic book issue that I can't remember who published that I read as a kid. But besides that, that was pretty much it. So as we talk about you know Street Fighter, uh, we all know that Street Fighter has been involved with a lot of Versus series and with different franchises. So Rune, let me ask you this. What is your favorite versus series with street fighter characters involved my favorite versus series for street fighter it started 
well, it, it kind of ties into the earlier an earlier question, uh, like which what was my favorite Street Fighter? One of them was right. X Men versus Street Fighter. Mm -hmm. So that was one of the. I don't know if it was one of the first or the first. I remember it was very early. It actually, I believe Crossover. it was the first. It was the first. The first? Because it was the first. Oh my god. Um, and then which, it evolved into Marvel vs. Capcom, right? Uh, Marvel Super Heroes vs. Uh, Capcom, correct. Yeah, so that one, so the X-Men vs. Street Fighter, I, I mean it was one, but in terms of... Uh, in terms of uh, the Versus series, the, the X-Men vs. Street Fighter, and the Marvel vs. Capcom series. So, I also mm. really like Marvel. Oh, I really yeah. like Street Fighter. So, two and two, it's like peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> or peanut butter and chocolate. Okay? Put those two together, you got yourself a good product. And it kind of fulfills that, that fantasy or the, the imagination. How would, it, how would it look like if um, M. Bison and... Magneto fought, or Wolverine and, and Ryu, or Yi Honda versus uh, Spider Man. Oh, yeah. Or something like that. So it would fulfill all these fantasy matchups uh, in your head. So X Men vs. Street Fighter, and then the Marvel vs. Capcom series. I would even count, I'd even count Infinite in there. Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Oh, whoa, whoa. You no, know, it wasn't whoa. that well received. You put a lot of I mean, thumbs still, down on you know, this video. The, uh, <laughs> uh, just, thumbs down, thumbs down. I'm just kidding. But, uh, you know, it, it, it still, you know, ha it still fulfilled that, you know, that, uh, you know, the imagination runs wild. You know, what are the matchups looks like? Uh, Ultimate, vs. Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Marvel vs. Capcom 3. You know, those were a lot of fun. Uh, the Ultimate, uh, like I said, the, the Ultimate uh, version of it. They recently, a couple years ago, they ported that over to Xbox One. That was a lot of fun. A lot of characters to use as. So, most definitely, that was my favorite favorite one I know they did uh, uh, like, uh, the Tekken the Tekken series and then they had a game for the Wii I never played the one on the Wii um, or uh, the SNK ones but mm. so it's not uh, just been the Marvel ones and that's that's by far my favorite so my favorite I have actually a couple of them um, so I do like the Wii one, which is actually named Tatsunoko versus Capcom, which uh, some All of right, those... That's good that you know how to pronounce it, because I didn't know how to pronounce it, so I just said the Wii one. <laughs> so I'm glad you knew how to pronounce it, because I'm like, oh, there was on the Wii. Okay. That's good you know enough. <laughs> so um, Tatsunoko uh, was a anime-based company that had a bunch of really good cartoons. Um, I believe one of the ones... Um, trying to remember what i think one of them was uh street racer but not that street racer is a fighter in the game but uh, that's just to go along with the company and there's a bunch of shows that i used to watch as a kids as a kid uh from tatsunoko and it was just cool that you know tatsunoko was able to fight the characters from street fighter um but on top of that marvel versus capcom big favorite of mine you know I, i'm just as big as a marvel geek as you are um, I am the, I am the oh, Doctor yeah. Strange. Um, here yeah, in Doctor Strange. Community. If I have to decide between the stone or saving you, I'm picking the stone. Oh hell yeah, that goes with anything, that's, that's, whether it's that's, stones, that's quintessential. bounties, anything, anything. Uh, so there's also played a little bit of the. I played like a few matches of SNK versus Capcom. Um, I do really SNK. You know, they're another big fighting game company that. I loved when I was growing up with Samurai Showdown, um, Fatal Fury, uh, Final Fight. Love those games. King of Fighters, which, you know, now that now that they are making their comeback SNK, uh, they were very big in the 90s. And to see those two companies, those two fighting game companies that were against each other, you know, trying to beat each other's sales to finally say, you know what, let's put bygones be bygones, you know, and we'll join together, we'll make this one game. And they did it, and it was really awesome. And to see those characters link up was pretty fun. Tekken versus Street Fighter. That, that was another one. So seeing the Tekken and Street Fighter universes collide, that was that was a big one because I love Tekken, and I like Street Fighter. Um, combine the two, and you know you got me sold. Um, the one thing that I am looking forward for in the future, and if the, the please, Namco, if you're listening, you did Tekken Seven already. You have no excuse. Do Tekken versus Street Fighter. 
bring the Street Fighter characters into the Tekken universe. You already did it with Akuma. You could do it with the rest. Of them. Well, fast let's forward. forward a little bit here, sick. Fast forward <laughs> a little bit. Let's let's get out of the '90s, okay, sick. It's oh god, gotta I don't get over leave. it. Don't make me leave. Get over it. No. Get over the '90s. You gotta grow up. Grow up oh, soon. oh gosh. We're talking about all these old school Street Fighter games, but sick. What about? The current Street Fighter Five. What about that one? <laughs> don't, you, don't you remember Street Fighter Five? Street Fighter Five. Oh, do I remember? Well. Oh yeah. All right. So, my thoughts on Street Fighter Five. All right. Well, so I bought the game day one. Okay. And let me tell you, I was very, very disappointed the way the game launched. Very little characters. Very little things to do. Um. No, it just it was just lacking so much and to charge sixty dollars for it it was in a terrible state when it first came out. Now thankfully after you know the launch window has well passed and you know just as recently with the um new uh version that just came out, um just drawn a blank of what the name is called again. Um the sorry using Google as my friend. The Google, Google. Oh god, what's what's the name of it? Yeah, Street Fighter V Champion Edition. Okay. Whew. I don't know, that was so hard to think of. Mm. So with the release of the Champion Edition, um, you know, releasing all the stages and all the characters now, I feel that the game is somewhat in a better place. Well, it's definitely in a better place than where it released, but there's still issues with, um, you know, net coding against other players, um, the nickel and diving of everything that comes out. Um, do I think that the game is good mechanically? Yes, I do. Do I like how it was sprinkled over these many years? No. But you know, that's also how Capcom has always done the Street Fighter series. You know, you can look at Street Fighter 4, Street Fighter 3, 2, all of them. But I felt like with Street Fighter 5, it was very mishandled. I'm glad it's in a better place now, but it still needs some work. And hopefully we can look to, you know, Capcom can look to bettering that in the future with Street Fighter VI. But uh, what about you? What about you? Well, my experiences with Street Fighter V, I don't think, is as expansive as as yours. Mm -hmm. One of the main reasons being, you know, to, to, to let the elephant out of the room, uh, Street Fighter V is, is only on PS4. What? Uh, and PC. What? It's not on Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> so when it came out, it was not available to us Xbox uh, owners. Um, I didn't get Street Fighter V until maybe a couple months later. Because I, I also do have a PS4, but I play primarily on my Xbox. I didn't play Street Fighter V a whole ton. I do recall I felt it, it was not a whole lot of content there or mm. the con there or the content that was there it was you had to you had to buy it. you had to buy the season pass you had to buy the fighter pass yeah. you had to buy this that, and everything and I, that kind of turned me off right um to it um it's kind of like it, it's a weird you know you know it's like they're they're reselling you these these characters that you've been playing that we've been playing for the past you know 20 years you know, yeah yeah that was their big thing uh, a while ago. Oh, you can play as Sagat. It's like, oh, yeah. Uh, paying $5 to play as him when I could, when I've been playing him for as long as I've been alive. <laughs> you know, re relying on the nostalgia factor to, to, to get the nickel. To drive up uh, to, get, to get sales or people, you know, to buy them or whatever <laughs> the case is. Do you feel like the next Street Fighter will be an exclusive as well? And if so, you know, which console do you think it could be exclusive for? If you believe it, what's going to be an exclusive? Do I believe? Do you it's believe? Like, it's like we're on a ghost adventure show. Yo, do ghosts, are ghosts real? Will Street Fighter be an exclusive game? Oh. Next generation. Well, let me see. Let me check my notes, Doctor. Oh, gosh. So, so do, do I feel it's going to be an exclusive game? I, I probably... Probably, mm -hmm. but we're we're also entering an interesting phase here. I feel. Let me get my my armchair 
you know, observations, my armchair uh, <laughs> gaming journalist, uh, psychology, chair. whatever it is. Give, give, give me my, my, my fake captain's chair. Here's my, here's my, what I'm seeing. You're seeing a lot of games now. You know, Rainbow Six, Siege, uh, Halo, MCC, Street Fighter V. These games have been out for how long? Five something years? Four or five, They're yeah. They're still getting updates with, with no signs of stopping. I don't even know when's the, when is the next Street Fighter. They could just keep producing content for Street Fighter V for the next three to five years and just you know and that's that and then until they're forced to make another one if they if they have to make another one they just keep upgrading that one um look what they did with mcc they just upgraded everything they just keep upgrading everything to it why yeah. release halo halo reach remastered when we just tack it on to the mcc why make street fighter 6 when we could just tack on all these new players uh, new characters on, onto street fighter 5 and sell another edition the newcomers edition the new bloods the, the new blood. For any old wrestling fans, okay, remember back in the also another '90s reference here, Joe. Another '90s reference. Uh, WCW, the New Blood versus the Millionaire Club. Okay, the old guys versus the new guys. They they could just release a new edition for that. If Sony or if if they're gonna go for the exclusive deal, if it makes them more money, then I'm sure that's what they'll do. It, you know, for, in terms of the consoles, I I, I would hope that for the next Street Fighter it would be multi-platform I would hope so I mean there, uh, there's a lot of Street Fighter fans on on Xbox I feel uh, that would welcome a uh, a mainline Street Fighter installment over here and maybe who knows maybe for the next generation we may see it do you feel the same though do you feel the same uh, are you are you all doom and gloom? Are you what are you? I am, I am prepared for the worst kind of guy. So I do believe it is going to be an exclusive. For the worst. I, I do believe that PlayStation will opt in to. I, I feel like Capcom will approach Sony again. And say hey, we uh, we got another Street Fighter in the works. Hey, hey. You wanna <laughs> send us a blank check to um. Uh, get it worked on or, or what i mean that, that's that's just my opinion but honestly i do hope that you know as you said we're coming into a brand new age with the new consoles coming out um xbox series x and the playstation 5 that we are able to tap into that cross platform accessibility uh, with PC as well too, um, you know, you can look at games like Call of Duty now, you know, everybody's involved now um, uh, I've, I want the next Street Fighter to be a multi-platform fighter Where if you know if I have beef with someone on PlayStation, I'm gonna challenge that man to a fight and We gonna duke it out, you know. Oh, just imagine the Xbox versus PlayStation uh, Championship Series. I think that would be freaking uh, that would be freaking amazing. Oh yeah, that, that'd be. Honestly, nice. they should do more of those. To be honest, they should do more of those. I, I remember back for when they were promoting Battlefield Four, they did an Xbox versus PlayStation tournament or some event somewhere. Uh, I think it was correctly. Xbox versus PC. Oh, because um. Never mind. Because crossplay was. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's right. That's right because it was sponsored. I remember Larry Herb, Major Nelson, Major Nelson's Larry Herb, or no. The other way around. Xbox Live's Major Nelson. He hosted it. Okay, never mind. I'm completely wrong. I forget what I just said. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> wrong for me. I was actually, like, actually, like, Xbox versus actually, PS4 event. Out. Actually, I think I don't even think that was the case either. I actually do think it was a US versus UK Battlefield 4 Xbox One event. <laughs> I think that was you know like what? well. I, I... Now that I remember, because I, I think maybe, I did watch that probably. If, if anyone, too. if anyone, follow, if anyone's from came, is here from 2013 and remembers, please, please remind us. Um, <laughs> yeah, I just remember Ma things. Major Nelson was there. Anyway, anyway. so Street Fighter. Hey, what was this? What is this supposed to be a Street Fighter video? We're talking yeah, about the what, battlefield. What the? Root, Got off the stage. Stay on topic. Stay on topic. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. All right, all right. So anyway, cross, cross play, cross play. That's that's what you're talking about. Cross play. So 
<laughs> yes, yeah, so I do. I do hope that you know, with crossplay being shoved to the forefront now, that uh, we will have a cross-platform fighter of Street Fighter in the future, and everybody would be able to t partake in the next Street Fighter main title. But for here on Xbox, our latest Street Fighter was the Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you laugh, and I know why. That's so rude. Being serious. Anniversary Collection. Yes. <laughs> what are your thoughts? What are my 30th, thoughts? On the 30th Anniversary That's all I got. Collection? That's all I got left. <laughs> Do you feel that Capcom has botched the release of this game uh, with it not being as popular here on Xbox? And if so, what do you feel that they could have done better, in your opinion? <laughs> so, what are my thoughts on the 30th anniversary collection? Well, I liked it. I like it. I'll get it right out there. I, I, I was <laughs> almost... I, I thought I was going to have a Fonzie moment, you know, where Fonzie can't say no, where you can't say sorry. I thought I was going to have to force myself to say I liked it. So I really like it. I really like how they have all these games on there. You can play the arcade modes for, for all the games featured. There's also online for a couple of them. So I really liked the 30th anniversary collection. Day one purchase. I actually pre-ordered it. Do I feel that they botched it or that they messed it up? Yes, I, I, I think that they did. I don't think that the marketing was there. They mm -hmm. didn't really advertise the game until, what, a couple weeks before it was coming out. Pretty much. You know, yeah. I felt this could have been an opportunity for them to be like, hey, this is a, a goodwill, this is a, an olive branch to, to to our Street Fighter community uh, across all the platforms. Because it came out on Xbox, it came out on PlayStation, came out for the Switch, and I don't know about PC. Maybe PC. But all of the major consoles has had Street Fighter 3 Fantasy Collection. And it was the first Street Fighter game released on Xbox since Street Fighter 4 back in, what, 2000, 2008, uh, 6, geez, something, six, uh, 7? Probably, probably 10. It, 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 was not in this, it was not in this decade. That's yeah, all I the, know. the last console game. generation, yeah. So it came out for the 360. So I, they could have used that as an opportunity to reintroduce Street Fighter to uh, new and upcoming gamers here on Xbox, and for any old school players um, from Street Fighter who missed out on Street Fighter V to come back to the franchise, come back to the series with this with this collection. It, it, ha it has online for the you know Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Alpha 3, Third Strike, so it has all the major games on there. Street Fighter 2 and also Street Fighter 2 Ever Fighting. So it has all the old school games in there that you can play online with other people or with your friends. Mm -hmm. There was an opportunity there, and they just it just didn't feel like, uh, you know, they, did, they didn't do a whole lot of it. It was just there. Oh, we made it. Okay, here it is. It's like, even still, a year ago, the game came out last May. Um, Sick and I are the... <laughs> I, I feel like we're the only two people who, like, uh, play yeah, that game I think on we Xbox. Are. Like, the, go to the looking for group, like the game hub, and you don't see anyone making any posts. I mean, you can still see people making looking for group posts, like... For games ten years old from the 360 on the backwards compatible, oh yeah, uh, game hub, and for Street Fighter, you would think someone out there, no one, no one makes any LFG posts. Um, the online is is unless you're, uh, I don't know, I guess at prime hours, like I don't know what those what those hours would be. You can't really find a whole lot of people who play online, so it's kind of like the the population there here on Xbox is pretty pretty low. I can't say anything about the other platforms, but here on Xbox, it was just kind of, kind of just came and went. I don't even think most folks know that there's an anniversary collection that came out. Probably not. You know, um, you know, like so, you said, it's probably just be you and the maintenance server guy who works at Capcom. Yeah, the maintenance server guy. Yeah, the, this guy the one who's, uh, who's checking the guy. servers. Who are these two bums keep playing this game on Xbox? <laughs> you know, one can't do any combos. That's me. And this other guy, freaking uh, spamming Hadouken. Hadouken, Spam I swear Hadouken. to God, I'm going to wrinkle his neck. Okay, so yeah, there's probably that, yeah, that guy who's checking on the servers every now and then sees who are these two these two bums. So how they could have done better, the marketing, advertising it, maybe a bit more, a bit more flair. 
but it was just, you know, oh, we gotta do a collection every now and then because this is not their first Street Fighter collection. There's been a couple of uh, there's been a couple others with that throughout the years where they bundle together the, the Street Fighter games and then they release oh, them yeah. out. You know, there were some for PS2. I think there was one for Xbox. So it's like every now and then they 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 they, they, uh, they push them out. I just would hope that for this one, it would have been a bit more. It would have been more, uh, more pizzazz to it. Maybe for the 35th anniversary collection. Who knows? Maybe we'll see. We'll see more of it. Did you want to give any of your thoughts on the uh, anniversary uh, collection? I, I, I would hit all the hit all the marks. I would say for me, you know, definitely you hit all the marks. Um, you know, basically with, you know, even even marketing, as you said. You know, even what they did market was very poorly brought. I mean, the reason why, uh, and I can, I think you can agree with me too, the reason why we both pre-ordered the game was to receive Ultra Street Fighter 4. Now, marketing <laughs> would have led me oh, to yeah. believe that uh, I was getting the PlayStation 4 upgraded HD version of Ultra Street Fighter 4. Uh, turns out it's just an add-on to the 360 version. Which I believe you still haven't gotten yet. <laughs> you know I that's that's funny that you mentioned that because I almost I completely forgot about it. Yeah, just so people who are watching under you know understand. So if you pre-ordered the game, you got you got an HD Ultra Super Street Fighter Four copy. So you're basically getting another game, right? Right. Yeah. And that's what the folks on PS4 got, while we just got just an add-on. Or something. I don't even know. I just don't even know what it is. So it's an like, add-on to Super Street Fighter 4, which is Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition. Let me clarify. Uh, it's an add-on to that, that which converts fast. it. <laughs> yeah. It converts it to Ultra Street Fighter 4, but not the PlayStation 4 edition. It uh, treats it as a backwards compatibility version, which is mind-boggling because, you know marketing didn't clarify that whatsoever and i'm sitting there like an idiot waiting for the hd version to pop in my inbox one of these days before i realized that it wasn't yeah you and me you and me both it turned out to be a sham um do i feel like uh we've been guinea pigged into getting this a little bit but you know i still love the oh, a little bit. Oh, yeah. i still love the yeah. free street fighter franchise enough that uh uh, I wouldn't say no right off the bat, but after this game, I might do a double take before I jump into the next uh, anniversary collection. So, we talked about how botched the 30th anniversary collection was, but let's focus our uh, attention to the main, main people behind the publishing of these games, and that's Capcom. Now, Rune, would you say, or how would you rate Capcom's treatment of the Street Fighter license uh, for over the last few years? Ten out of ten. Capcom, best oh company in the world. God. Please buy Championship Edition Street Fighter Five. Pre-order now, and you'll get. Ryu. We're not even sponsored Remember, by Ryu? them. Remember, Ryu. Oh, wait, oh. We're, we're oh, sponsored by me. Ray Shadow Legends. Damn it! The, the God. Raid Shadow, Raid, 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 Shadow Raid, Legends. Raid Shadow Legends. For me, how, how do you, uh, I, how would, how would you feel? Yeah, what, how would you rate it? What's, what, out of, a, out of a scale of one to ten? I would say like a five or a six. Um, again, uh, looking at Capcom as a whole with Street Fighter characters, um, I look at Street Fighter Five. You know, beginning launch botched. I look at Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, and I feel like the, you know, the game also with its Street Fighter characters kind of looked a little funky. I mean, it played, it played well. Don't get me wrong, it played awesome. You know, but so few character selections compared to, you know, uh, 3 and and 2. Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Um... Then I look at obviously the 30th anniversary collection, um, you know, another botch situation, and I'm looking at the history of it for the past couple of years, and it's not 
I feel like it's not clicking. And uh, do I hope that in the future it it uh, kind of gets better along the line? I do. Uh, but for right now, I feel like it's I feel like it's kind of struggling a little bit. Uh, and I feel like besides maybe Evo, which kind of maybe could grant some new players to get into Street Fighter, um, and maybe with this championship edition that just came out, releasing everything in one shot, I don't really see avenues that say would hook the next player in to be like, oh man, I really got to play Street Fighter, you know, and I, I'm just worried about it for the future. But lastly, uh, how, what what would you like to see happen? Speaking of the future, what would you like to see happen for the future of the Stra Street Fighter franchise? With the with the future of the Street Fighter franchise, I think the biggest thing for me is having uh, cross platform hmm. availability. So <clears throat> Xbox have Street Fighter a mainline Street whoa, Fighter game whoa, for, whoa, for Xbox. Xbox. That's what I would like to see. What is that platform? Um, and have there be uh, cross play. So have it on all platforms and have there be crossplay. I think that would be really awesome. Maybe uh you know for, to throw in maybe another maybe another uh, movie. Animated movie. Get Jean-Claude Van Damme to come back. <laughs> for, for for the Street Fighter. What about yourself? What would you like to see for the for our last uh, question? What would you like to see from Street Fighter? What could Street Fighter do for you, Mr. C? So first off, you know, definitely along the cross-platform angle, definitely want the game to be released on all platforms. Um, I want there to be cross-play just so I can play with other people and um, not be confined to one little console. You know, not that not that I don't like the Xbox, but you know, there's other challengers out there that need to ask. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, that, that's an open challenge here, ladies and gentlemen. Just so everyone knows. Yeah. Oh no, all right. He's, don't he, don't lost spam my inbox. Don't spam my inbox, please. Just, just one fight, one fight a night, I guess. <laughs> but um. Jesus Christ, man. But my main thing I want is a complete and finished game with multiple characters in it from the start. I don't want it to be nickel and dime on the way through. You know, I want just like how Mortal Kombat does it with like all the characters in box in the box uh, they ship it out and if you want characters in the end later they'll give it to you individually that's what I want from my Street Fighter game in the future a complete package like like 25 characters and like 12 stages to start with you know and a story mode let's get a good story mode from the start please that's sick they can't monetize it so you're not going to be able to get it. Sorry. Uh, I'm sure we'll they can five characters some. and then give you 20 characters over the course of three years. Oh my gosh. I'm sure they could find a way to monetize. They, mon they monetize everything nowadays. I'm sure they could find a way to monetize it. Battle Pass? Street Fighter Battle yeah. Pass? <laughs> Battle Pass? That's, that's the new way to go. Get to rank 100, you unlock Ken. Remember the, him? Oh, uh, Ken? Oh my god. Oh, does say that he's he's supposed to be the starting character. He's been the starting character in every Street Fighter game. Him and Ryu. But sick. Here's here's the real. This is something we have to realize. They don't care for people like us. Us old people. It's all over for us. They don't want us. Wow. Anymore. So sick. I think. I think it's time for us to go now. <laughs> We've been here time for like an hour. <laughs> <laughs> sitting in front of our TVs, talking at our TVs. I sure hope no one's looking at us right now. I probably think we're going crazy. Oh yeah, well, uh, I don't have any windows in my room, so nobody's gonna be <laughs> watching me. I've kept it a dungeon somewhere where. Uh, That's right. I, I just so, play video games from time to time. <laughs> <laughs> but at that no being windows. said, yes. <laughs> Uh, I would like to thank you, Rune, for coming along and discussing Street Fighter with me here on well, Six well, Corner. Thank you for having me. Yes, it's yes on Six Corner. It's a very nice quarter you have. It's a little, it's a little cramped. <laughs> I wish, I wish there was, I wish there was a chair. You don't like, I'm sitting you don't on like the sort of chains from the ceiling. You don't like them. I mean, oh, no, the, well, the, you know, I was looking at the body like, that's roped up like, to oh, the wall. Oh, 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 wow! I thought a body. <laughs> We're not saying yeah. more self-incriminating things there. 
Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Sink, but uh, or the yeah, uh, really, skeleton really that's chained to my wall over here <laughs> with the yeah, iron yeah, bars. Very, you know, mm -hmm. most normal people like collect uh, stamps. You know, I don't stamps. Think, uh, this is not what normal people do. I collect the bodies of my enemies. <laughs> uh, I'm legitimately freaked out now. I hope. Where's the door? <laughs> the, do the door. There's no door. You're trapped here eternally. That was the point. Well, geez, I, I guess, uh, uh, well, uh, uh, good news, we only have Street Fighter games to play, so, uh, <laughs> oh, God, <laughs> down here in oh, the basement. Jesus. <laughs> well, if anyone's out there, if any, if anyone's listening out there, who's, who's made it to the end of this video, please, uh, please alert the authorities, uh, and come find me, please. I'm in the sixth corner, he will somewhere. Be fine. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, thank you. Oh, was, yeah, it's a lot um, of fun. Hopefully, we do it again. Maybe we'll do it again on another uh, another topic where you'll have you'll have somebody else lured down here. Uh, lured down, <laughs> down here. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, it didn't, didn't, didn't take oh. didn't take much to lure you down. It's just uh, some cookies and uh, glass of milk. <laughs> Get walking down here. It, it was chocolate chip cookies. What can I say? <laughs> thank you guys for watching this is Sixth Corner uh, hopefully you guys have a nice day uh, thank you and have a nice bye. day thanks for watching have a nice day we'll see you guys thanks next for time. watching bye